Hello Scorpios, welcome to your weekly love reading. If you are a Scorpio, someone rising in Venus, this reading is for you. If you're on the cusp of a Sagittarius and or a um, Libra, please watch their videos, okay? These are very um, general, okay? So they're not gonna resonate with all of you. If you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below in the description box. Really hope my dog doesn't start barking. Okay, um, we have the letter card here, the rider, the ring, and the crossroads. So the letter is about letters, documents, communication. <clears throat> Very sorry. The ring is about relationships, marriage, karma, jewelry, um, mutual feelings, like mutual shared. Um, the writer is about rushing in, rushing out, lots of changes, news, a new person. Uh, the crossroads is a decision, choices, alternatives, hesitation. Okay. So right off the bat, <laughs> there is a decision about, just off the bat, there is a decision to make about someone new that comes into your life this week, or they're deciding about you, okay? Overall, a lot of changes this week, as well as, um, it could be that someone changes their mind about a relationship or changes their mind about something concerning the relationship. Um, Another obvious message is someone is deciding whether or not to commit to the other person. I don't know if this is you um, deciding on whether you should commit to this person or they're doing it to you. Uh, there's definitely an important message. If you're waiting to hear from somebody, I feel like this week you did or you still will. Okay, sorry about that. It is Friday. Um, next week I will have these done Monday and Tuesday. Okay, all of the readings. Um, for some of you, you're choosing between more than one person. Okay, because sometimes the crossroads can be about alternatives, multiple people. Okay. Here's what I also see. This is another storyline. Okay, so it may not resonate with you. Okay, so the person someone was going to actually commit or marry, they changed their mind because someone else came along. And I don't know if it's someone old or someone new. And for a lot of you, I'm, I'm leaning towards someone new, being that the writer card is generally somebody new, but it doesn't have to be. The, the child and writer can be that new energy, newish energy. Um, there's this, uh, let's talk about this. I was wrong about what I did. Like I'm here, I'm not seeing that there was an, um, but that's what I'm visualizing. Like, let's talk about this, let's get together. I'm sorry, it took, I, I'm sorry it took so long. That's what I'm hearing. I'm sorry it took so long. I'm sorry that I took so long to get back to you. Let's do this. Let's either be together. Let's start. Uh, it doesn't have to be marriage, actually, but that could be some of the communication that is talked about. Let's be together. Let's do this. I'm, I don't know why. I'm not seeing an apology, but I'm hearing that. Like, um, I'm sorry it took so long. I keep hearing that. I'm sorry it took so long. Maybe that will be your... Um, the title of this, you know, I'm sorry it took so long. <laughs> For some, um, those of you that are married, you both just decide on a lot of last minute changes together. So nothing about the relationship itself, just deciding on things, okay? And you're both mutually wanting to change. That's another thing. The ring could be, again, something shared, something mutual. And this could be a conversation talking about what you both want to change or how should we change things, whether it's the house, the furniture, the kids. Um, your, it could be the relationship, like, hey, we need to have date nights. We need to, we need to schedule sex, you know. It could be anything like that. Where are we going to move to? Where are we going this week? Our next vacation? Whatever it is, there's a lot of, but it's but it's very mutual for a lot of you, okay? So it's like, and it's an agreement, right? <clears throat> I feel like for some, this is a forced, ooh, like a forced marriage. That's for some of you. Okay, that's another story, separate storyline. So I don't know if it's because they like, I don't know, do they still do that? I know in some countries they do. Like an arranged marriage, some kind of arranged marriage. Hope it's not a shotgun wedding, but you never know. Maybe it's something like that. Like, let's just do it because we're pregnant, you know? Um, I'm not going to judge there, just saying. So there could be a forced decision. So 
uh, separate from a forced marriage or, 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 or feeling obligated to marry. Um, the reason I say that, by the way, is the writer can be something that's pushy, like something that forces you to do something. Um, not always, but that's one of the meanings of the writer card. So there could just be like a forced decision or someone trying to persuade the other person to do something, even if it's not marriage or, okay, but this is, I'm trying to keep all this love relationship related. It could be other things, but I'm just trying to look at the love part about it. You know what? I also pick up like a knight in shining armor energy. <laughs> Um, the Rider card sometimes reminds me of like the knights and the tarot, like knight in shining armor, like someone who just wants to steal you away and make you theirs, you know, like a prince charming person, doesn't have to be a male, but just saying. Um, also the Rider is often a male energy, but it, it could be female, okay? I do see someone wants their freedom. That's another message in the cards I'm getting. Somebody wants their freedom. Now, I'm not seeing a breakup necessarily, but it's possible that some of you want out of a relationship or commitment. So this is another storyline. Is it gonna end this week? No, there's still decisions to be made, but there's that, like I'm not seeing a breakup here, I'm not seeing one, but if somebody is pondering about a breakup, then there's the deciding between I don't, I want my freedom. I don't want to be stuck with this one person anymore, okay? There's also a message here about your person expresses indecision about what it is they really want in this connection. Um, I just feel if, if you're single or if you're taken, there's just a lot of changes happening all week, okay? Lots of decisions, lots of, lots of changes, um, or a new person coming into your life wanting to be with you. Um, there could be a last minute change of going to someone's, here's another storyline, there's like a, I don't know if some of you are invited to someone's, someone else's wedding, but this is what I'm getting also. I'm not sure if, if the couple to be changes the date or you end up not being able to go to the wedding as planned. Okay. That's something I'm getting specific. Okay. And for others, you rush to get married. So it may not be um, an arranged marriage or a forced marriage, but there's this like, let's do this, let's hurry up, even if you just met them. Not that, okay, not that a lot of, well, maybe there's some people out there that get married after knowing each other for like a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks, but there's this like eloping type of energy. So if it's not someone else's wedding, it could be you. And perhaps some of you that you are getting married, you end up changing the date or something was, I don't wanna say canceled, but there's some kind of change of date, whatever it is, okay? All right, another message I'm picking up. This is like hooking up with someone fast, like a one night stand or, hi baby, come here, my puppy. Um, hi, Coda, hi. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's, see, he's pawing at me right now, wants me to rub his belly. <laughs> say hi, Coda. If you hear him breathing hard, that's my dog. <laughs> You're such a big boy. Yes, you are. All right. What did I say? Um, like a one night stand. Yeah. So there's like a one night stand. Um, here's the here's the catch though. For some of you that have this one night stand, it's like right when you meet them, they start having stronger feelings for you, or one of you does. But it wasn't really meant to be. Like you were just planning on just hooking up one time, but then there's some feelings that develop. So now they're kind of thinking about it. Like, hmm, should I be with this person or should I just let that night go and forget about it, you know? <sighs> Someone could be waiting for you to commit to them or leave a relationship to commit to them. Okay. It could be that you're waiting, but I'm hearing them. I, I'm hearing like actually they are. It's them. <laughs> um, I said that earlier. I was going to say like jumping in too fast to a marriage or relationship. Yeah, because there's this like pressure energy. It, you know, it could be because someone's, I don't get fear in the cards, but it could be that, you know, what is the reason to rush? You know, if I would, let me just throw this in. So in other words, wh why is there a need to rush into a relationship if you don't have to? 
What is the biggest reason? Anyone know? Well, one of the reasons is because they feel like they're gonna lose the person. If you're that, I mean, maybe there is other reasons. Like, well, let's, we gotta do it before tax season. Yes, yeah, okay. If it's not for money, <laughs> okay, if it's not about taxes or you're pregnant, uh, what is the other reason why people rush to get married? I could be wrong, but one of the one of the reasons I see often is because they're a fear of not, you know, like they think they're not going to get them if they if it takes, you know. So, which I understand, but you know, sometimes you can be with someone for a long time and not be married, right? Anyway, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, I hope that helped you, and sorry if it didn't. Thank you again. Uh, for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.